Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here with the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook on Tuesday the 4th of December. It's a generally unsettled story and stormy as we go through Friday as a deep area of low pressure passes eastwards. Uh, briefly milder air but uh, much colder north northwesterlies then come down into the weekend and a generally chilly outlook will take us onwards into next week. So many of the mountains staying sub-zero over a good number of days ahead. A brief thaw in the short term. Uh, on Wednesday we've got milder air coming in across England and Wales. That will push northwards into Scotland eventually by Thursday. The early hours of Thursday temperatures will lift. So a thaw up to the highest tops temporarily. Uh, although by the time we get through into Friday, freezing levels will drop again and they may well start to drop during Thursday daytime too. So only a short-lived thaw and then you're back to around 1,000 metres or lowering as Friday goes on. There's the uh, dartboard of low pressure that's coming in for Friday. That's the storm system that will be around. As we skip that on into the weekend, you'll see how generally chilly air is across the country. So sub-zero above around 900 to 1,000 metres, I suspect, into uh, late Friday and Saturday. But those freezing levels will drop as you go through Saturday into Sunday. And it could be that uh, it's below freezing above, say, 800 metres, and then progressively nearer to 600 metres meters as we go onwards into Sunday as the wind flow turns northerly and those colder air masses come down across the British Isles. Let's have a look through the charts. Then this is Wednesday of this week and we've got a frontal system edging northeastwards. There's been a lot of complexity of this one over the past few days. The story basically is that uh, the northern edge of this is seeing some snow to quite low levels for the southern uplands, edging northwards into the southern side of the highlands. The bulk of the highlands stays dry through Wednesday daytime. A little bit of patchy snow drifts northeastwards then overnight. Across England and Wales it's turning all to rain and rain across Wales will be heavy and there's some rather persistent falls of rain too for the lakes and the Pennines, starting off as some snow first thing. A series of fronts moves northeastwards across the country into Thursday. Area of rain will pass through, followed by some showers, and rain may be frequent much of the day across Wales, perhaps the Pennines as well. Uh, showers across Scotland, just breaking up a bit more as time goes on, and cloud may lift as you go through the day. Quite a blustery day, though, gales across the hills most of the way through. It's a rapidly moving weather sequence though because by Thursday night into Friday a deep area of low pressure will form to the west of us that will sweep into Scotland by the early hours of Friday and it's a stormy day for all then. Uh, extensive severe upland gales, you could be talking about gusts in excess of 100 miles per hour across the higher mountains in Scotland and 80-90 miles per hour quite possible for the Lake District. Uh, maybe Wales not quite as strong but it's gale force winds across the mountains nevertheless and some frequent heavy bursts of rain, some hail mixed in and wrapped around the centre of the low, that front could just produce some prolonged falls of rain and snow, say above 900 metres or so in Scotland, the chance of that coming down to increasingly low levels as freezing levels drop through the day. So not a pleasant one at all for Friday and Saturday is a complicated picture and uncertainties will depend just what follows in the wake of Friday's storm. There could be further little uh, centres of low pressure that form on a trailing front. The idea of chillier air trying to come round from the north, some pulses of rain may be frequent in places for a good few hours. Uh, say across northern Scotland, it could turn to snow more readily quite widely through the day. Watch your details for Saturday, expect it to be an unsettled day, and there's still the risk of gales or even severe gales across some of the mountains. And then by Sunday it's that more definitive turn to a northerly with showers coming in to the northern side of the highlands, some shower bands across the Irish Sea into Wales, probably down the spine of the country, not doing too bad with some sunshine but a cold feeling day, still the risk of some gales, and again there could be some more organised clusters of snow showers in places. So a rather active spell of weather over the next few days. Things look as though they quieten down as we go into the start of next week. This is uh, around Sunday night into Monday. Low pressure pulling away toward the east. Pressure then building from the west and that just allowing things to quieten down. It leaves probably a couple of dry days around Monday and Tuesday. Still some snow showers in places. Some frost overnight. Hard frost is possible pretty widely with the cold air that's in place. The wind may be becoming quite light for a time underneath high pressure and there should be a good amount of sunshine around. The air very clear with the air having come down from the Arctic on that northerly. Now through the week it looks as though more of an easterly wind tries to develop but how extensive that becomes is uncertain. It looks as though high pressure at least for a time is around Scandinavia next week so something of that easterly flow is in charge. Staying fairly dry I suspect for a few days. 
but it's what happens around the middle of next week that is very uncertain because it's the battle between the high to the east and low pressure trying to come back in from the Atlantic. Some indications as we go further ahead, this is around the 14th, 15th, start to develop a more organised area of low pressure again to the west of us and that could start to bring weather systems in with some further gales, rain and snow depending on how the sequence comes out. So it may not be a sustained easterly. The general theme of the week I suspect is a cold one with no genuinely mild air masses coming in so the mountain terrain staying broadly frozen for that week ahead. It's just then the watch as to how soon unsettled weather tries to come back in. So we'll keep you up to date with that one. We'll update the video for you on Friday. Thanks for watching today. Bye for now.